guys what is up welcome to another episode of maximilian must know this is sort of going to be a combination of a sense of story and a sponsorship video for art of living um which is a website i'm going to link to in the description how did i get involved with art of living well years years ago literally um I was walking down in Soho and I had heard about a store named Min New York um, and I had heard it was sort of like the anti Sephora store where you could try fragrances and shaving products and you didn't have to be hassled by essays and they were getting really good product that wasn't available in the United States and I walked in there and I met Chad and Mindy and to make a long story short I really respected both of them and became friendly with both of them and from then on you know I went to Min and every time I went there I would talk with Mindy and I just have so much respect for her um, and what she built with Min. Min New York in my mind will always be a combination of Chad and Mindy you know like I haven't been to Min since Min um, since Mindy left um, Mindy Yang left Min New York but uh, I'm sure it's still still doing well um, but basically, you know, Mindy left, um, I think a year, more than a year ago, or something like that. Um, and I knew when she left that she was going to do something amazing, you know, because she helped curate so much of what Min is and build Min. And so I found out she had branched off from Min and started her own atelier, uh, called Art of Living. And what that is, and so basically, just so you guys know, she, she reached out to me and she was like, hey, you know, I, I'm carrying these houses. Do you want to do a video on any of them? And I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll, anything you do, you know what I'm saying, I want to be down with. And um, I checked the website out and it's so cool. She, she sort of curated a marketplace in general so they've got um accessories for men and women and just like food items like syrups and spices and and toys and just <clears throat> all these what like my ultimate dream is to sort of do that is to sort of have a store where you can curate everything and, and pick out things you really love and all these wonderful items at art of living have been handpicked by mindy to be for sale um but what's what's so cool of course, is there's a healthy, very healthy perfume section, including scents from Noble 1942 and Nomaterra. You guys know how much I love Nomaterra. Um, and Laura Tunato and, and, and brands upon brands that, that I've messed with and that I respect. And also Boys 1920, among so many others. And you guys, if you watch my channel, you're familiar with Boys 1920. You know, I did a full review on the Freycom favorite, which, which is Sushi Imperial. Uh, we all love that. It's one of the first niche fragrances I became familiar with with an, with an, with an essay. Um, at Barney's recommended this to me, sort of how I became familiar with niche fragrances. I actually picked out a uh, Vetiver Extraordinaire by Frederick Mal that day, but Sushi Imperial was, was, was really on my, my radar that day. You know, some people think that one smells like apple pie. Not so much for me. I think of it more as a spicy citrus, perfect for year round. But we've looked at a couple more scents from this house on my scent safari, actually on my sample shopping series. But what I'd like to do today is talk to you about four fragrances that don't get the attention that Sushi Imperial gets in this community. And all four of these scents are going to be available on Mindy's site, which I'm gonna to link to in the description. Now, as far as Boys 1920 goes, I think we've talked about it before, but this is an Italian perfume house that was founded in 1920 by a gentleman named Guido Gallardi. His first collection was actually based around the lavender that he collected from the hillsides surrounding Florence. Um, the company unfortunately only lasted five years and closed up shop in 1925, but Guido, his grandson, Guido Gallardi, uh, revived the company in 2005 and he re-released some scents, he reinterpreted some scents, and he just straight up invented some new scents. So we're going to look at four today available on Art of Living and go through the pricing. So the first one we're going to look at is called Oro 
1920. Now this one comes in a 100 ml bottle. It's $340. It's a bit more pricey than some of the others. And the notes on Oro 1920 are ginger, raspberry, and pine at the top. Olabinum, guyac wood, iris, may, rose, and osmanthus in the middle. A Poppinax oud tobacco vanilla and leather in the base. And I really enjoy this one. This is one I was gonna blind buy. I wanted to get my nose on this one forever, it, mainly because it's gotten a ton of comparisons to a Tom Ford fragrance called Tuscan Leather. And um, as I said, I actually came super close to blind buying this one, but I was too concerned that it might be too close. I don't have Tuscan Leather, guys. I have a, a fragrance called La Yucca Wam Um by a Middle Eastern house called Rasasai, which for me is close enough. Um, and this is close too, but I think it's very different as well. Um, is it different enough for you to warrant owning both? I don't know. I think you've got to probably make that call. This has a vanilla bean note that Tuscan Leather does not have. There's oud in this one as well. To me, this resembles a fragrance by David Yerman. Uh, their special Eau de Parfum fragrance. I think it's called David Yerman uh, Eau de Parfum Special Edition. More than Tuscan Leather. You get that raspberry and leather, which is sort of the hallmark of Tuscan Leather. I like this one at the price point. I don't know that I'd purchase it because it feels like we've been here before. Uh, it also doesn't beast on my skin. Like I might expect a fragrance at this price point, but it does perform really well. The bottle on this one is beautiful. I love the boys 1920 packaging and this is a gold bottle. Um, so I really do like that. I kind of want it just for that, to be honest with you guys. If you if you are in the market for Tuscan leather, maybe you take a want to take a look at this and decide if, if maybe this won't be a better option for you. The next one I want to talk to you guys about is called Classic. It's just called Boys 1920 Classic. It's an eau de toilette. Uh, and there's two options for this one. A 50 ml is $145. A 100 ml is $205. There's also a travel set available for $145. Um, lots of notes on this one, guys. The top, bergamot, pepper, nutmeg, basil, and juniper. And the heart, rose, jasmine, osmanthus, cedarwood, apricot, lavender, and black pepper. And then the base, amber, vetiver, sandalwood, musk, tobacco, thyme, and caraway. So normally with these classic scents, they kind of all blend together for me. I don't really get excited by a house's classic scent when I see citrus and woods and florals. So I wasn't expecting big things from this one and this guy came along and impressed the living shit out of me masterfully blended so much going on it's insane but for me what makes this one is the apricot note because you just don't get that in too many scents adding some nutmeg some juniper some lavender some vetiver and you've got a very daring very classic cologne unreal um, so well done, bottle worthy, nothing I've smelled like this, EDT still performs well. Next one is called Dolce De Giorno, this one's 100 ml for $236. Note wise is bergamot, cinnamon, pepper, grapefruit, and figolide at the top. Mm. Cardamom, thyme, prune, and cypriol oil in the middle, patchouli, vetiver, cedar, sandalwood, guyac wood, cashmere wood, labdanum, and vanilla in the base. I got super excited when I saw three notes in this fragrance in conjunction, plum or prune with cinnamon vanilla, because a fragrance that has grown on me in such a huge way, a huge way over the last two years is Plum Japanois by Tom Ford. More Tom Ford comparisons. I'm actually not a, the biggest Tom Ford fan in the world, to be honest with you. I think I only own uh, two private blend fragrances, but uh, this reminds me a little bit of that. It, it does fall somewhat flat for me. It's eau de parfum, but I really don't get that plum as much as I get citrus and spice and some woods. I wish that prune would stick out some more, but I think that the sweetness that I get, get from this one is from sandalwood, uh, not prune or plum. Dolce di Giorno translates to sweet day. I think I was looking for something a little bit more sweet. Um, certainly not a bad fragrance, one you might want to check out. Uh, I couldn't see owning this one over Plum Japanois myself. Guys, last up, we're going to look at one called E-Truc.
e-truck e-truck i-t-r-u-k 100 ml 320 dollars 2015 release newer release from the house cardamom juniper caraway black and pink peppers at the top orris root patchouli nutmeg in the middle vanilla tonka amber incense oud in the base this is the huge huge winner out of the four um and for me a totally unique scent so this one opens up a little bit harsh you almost kind of get this burnt scorched woods thing going on with spices and then as this one sits on the skin it becomes very smooth and sweet has some intensity to it and some kick through and through i don't think that's what giving i don't think what's giving this one some funk is the oud notes i actually think what's doing it is the amber this is an amber lover scent with a touch of oud some tonka and a little bit of green i feel like from patchouli it's really unique extremely different daring this is a daring fragrance of boys 1920 haven't smelled a lot of daring from this house very different from anything <coughs> excuse me anything else that i've smelled from them and i think a must smell for people who like smoky resinous amber scents so there are the four that i wanted to check out from this house that mindy sent me of course sushi imperial which she also sent me stupidly huge winner amazing fragrance um i'd love to know your fragrance from your favorite from this line please check these out on mindy's site art of living but more importantly just go check art of living out let me know if there's a house on art of living that's featured that you'd like to see me do in a follow-up video uh, mindy thank you so much for these for sending these to me i love this site i can't wait to see what else comes from it i think it's just an amazing site guys don't just shop for fragrances there just check out everything on the site it's it's super cool and i have so much faith in everything mindy does and i'm so happy we got to kick this off with boys 1920 which is just such a underappreciated house and and the fragrance community we only talk about sushi imperial and there's so many more to talk about here check out i truck our turk check out um classic check out order 1920 check out all of them and let me know what you think i'll see you guys again real soon with many more videos you already know what it is guys my name is maximilian and i must know thank you Mindy.